go. So last time, our mentor had just been killed and her sister was being accused of her murder. We don't believe it was Maya though, so we're going to defend her. We gathered a bit of evidence, we encountered the witness, April May, and defeated her in court. We went up against Miles Edgeworth and on our first day we managed to get over the top of him and force it to a second day. So now we're back investigating again. Mr. Wright, you're amazing in there. R really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Oh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sent shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... <laughs> uh, I mean, I suspect that her sister is actually called June Jill. Is, I suspect that her middle name is June. <laughs> Yes, a very unoriginal name from Ace Attorney. <laughs> um, well, no, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention centre now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> well, that seems to be the thing with most of their names. They just try and relate them a little bit to the character, or they make absolute jokes on them. I'm counting on you. Like our lawyer, who we're playing as Phoenix Wright. So they make that whole right-wrong joke so many times. I ask for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. And that's just the victim dodged to the right, was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention centre, and it's up to me to set her free. No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, true. A lot of games aren't that pun friendly anymore. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> both. Both Lansons. She's both a cat and an off-duty stripper with anger issues. I mean, I, I don't think she's going to tell us much. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, it's 
tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer's school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. <laughs> oh, Phoenix. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding, scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Alright, so we can't do anything with her at the moment. I'm gonna go to the law offices. Oh. He had a giant painting there before, it's missing. Hmm. Looks like Gross Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Yeah, that painting's gone. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? <laughs> Honestly, why not both in that situation? I can very much see it being both. Uh, it was a painting of a fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting. Ah, I thought it was a good painting. Now let's look at these photos. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Oh, I thought I was looking at the photos. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident, X Exhibit A, and DL6 Incident, Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Ah, uh, let's take B. Why would Grossberg have a picture of this man? This might be a valuable clue. Either way, check her crawl space for X. No, that's concerning, but I wouldn't put it past April, May. This might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. I'm just borrowing it. I'll return it later. So, I think this is actually the man. He looks a bit similar to Miss May. So let's go present it to her. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. And we never heard of that promise again. All right, here we go. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you? Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What, who, when? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no. That's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof it, that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Damn it. Um, maybe we can find proof here. Ah, oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? <laughs> so you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Uh... We might talk to him. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are, in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. 
If you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Yeah, so I think presenting the photo of him is going to be useful. He'll confirm to us it was the man. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit? Affidavit. Swearing that it was him. An affidavit? I can't pronounce that word. Uh, let's have him write it, because that'll be good evidence. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Ugh. So just hurry up and write it. There we go. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. I think we've got her now. Uh, let's present... There we go. Got her. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit with it. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. He was most definitely this guy. There. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ooh, do we ease her fears or push her hard? <laughs> I mean, true. He won't find it hard to, to stand in the unemployment line. He's got a lot of good ideas for the hotel. Nah, uh, we're gonna push her hard. She's been a bit of a jerk to us. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Ugh. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you on the night of the murder. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White. At last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Delboy's affidavit discarded. Thank goodness I don't have to say that word anymore. Let's go to Blue Corp. It's the painting. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your pay of your personage. What the? Your name! What is your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Um, right. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's funny, Lanterns. Uh. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my GI and Tesk vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion off official. 
My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her, in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is inevitable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be able, you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are company of the future, you might say. You might even say we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp as founder and CEO named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Ah, uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grodyberg. But what? Ugh. 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 He, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault. Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they do all my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grodyberg's, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, 
Skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Alright. Guess we're forced to go back to Grossberg's office. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. <clears> throat> Jumping to Hosefats! Oh, you! What's wrong? Uh, what's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Uh, today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you for my th I owe I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, no. I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling that I know what it is. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. Mr. Grossberg said, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. He looks like he's... <laughs> oh, that is harsh. That is harsh, Lansons. <laughs> I like to think that's his own hair. But yeah, it is funny that he and I... They do have the same hairstyle, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp. Red White's office. Hmm. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest, so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Possible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. W what? They are bound. Unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is this DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received an, a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? 
Her name was Misty Fay. Fay. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. And as a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her. And in the end, cleared, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. We told White. He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the laws of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Alright, so we're going to go take a look at her office. It's funny, looking at this room it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Let's take a look at her files. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filled are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll take a look at A to I. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. More puns. Misty Fay. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm? Shall I take a look? Let's read it. <laughs> yeah, more puns. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the powers, using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite, who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm? The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Oh my god, it was so obvious that the other person was white. Now uh, let's look at J to S. Let's see here, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Let's skim it. Ah. Oh, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here, at the end of S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. What? This is Mayor's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mayor thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Let's check them. Let's do T to Z, because White will be in there. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Oh, jeez. Well, we've got enough information. Let's go confront him. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. 
Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Let's get in with Maya's evidence. Oh. This is the only clue that Maya left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mayor's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. Mr. White. I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mayor investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I've found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Ooh. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, is that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's that about? What's this about? The Mayor Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed and could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. Wright, this is another one of those. Chief Prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as, the, as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, Butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. My friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? What? 
Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state, yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Nice voice acting. Wait, seriously? You really think so? I was just... <laughs> I was just doing whatever voice I heard I heard coming from the characters. <laughs> Thanks, Lanterns. I only really have confidence doing the male voices and not the over-the-top ones like Larry. <laughs> Uh, I refused, I had an idea. Right, Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. Huh, now I'm afraid we've switched places. <laughs> well, it wasn't too hard for me to capture the smug voice. I can be a little bit arrogant at times, IRL. <laughs> So it wasn't too hard to get into that character. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone on too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well, Ooh. Which do you, which do you think we should go for, Lanterns? <laughs> or I suppose anyone else in chat as well. I'm tempted to ask her to defend us. Okay, we'll defend her. We'll ask her to defend us. All right, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right. Huh? Leave it to me. I'm Mia's sister after all. Warriorship runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that run in your blood? I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. But wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Oh, to be continued. 